Good evening, Empire Oak students. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Stories. I hope you've had a wonderful spring break and that you are well rested and excited to come back to school this week. Um, I know I am. And tonight's story also has to do with this whole idea of self, um, self-control and uh, controlling our impulses. So tonight's story is called Impulse Ninja. And this is by Mary Nin. And remember, she has a whole bunch of books. They're called the Ninja Life Hack Series. So you can check out a bunch of these different ones. Look at all of these different stories and characters that she writes about. So tonight is Impulsive Ninja by Mary Nin. And pictures are by Jelena Stupar. So I hope you enjoy it. And you can see Bentley is here with me tonight. Okay, here we go. <laughs> My sister was taking her time with the red crayon, so I patiently told her, I'll use the yellow crayon to color in this sun while I'm waiting for the red one. Whenever I had an impulse to say or do something rash, I took time to think about what I would say or do next. When my sister and I were wrestling, I noticed we were doing it in an area where we could possibly knock some things down. So I paused and asked her to play on the ground instead. If we play on the floor, we won't break anything. If I was responding to someone, I would take a moment to consider how my words might affect them. Before reacting to something, I would think about the consequences of my actions. In the past, instead of patiently pausing before responding, I would act very differently. For example, when my sister wouldn't give me back my stuff, I screamed at the top of my lungs. I hadn't meant to yell at her, but I was so mad. At school, I struggled with following the rules. Please keep your hands to yourself. In other areas of my life, I made risky choices. No! Did inappropriate things for attention and had trouble taking turns. One afternoon while Patient Ninja and I were coding, I got so frustrated that I impulsively punched the screen of my computer. <gasps> what happened? I'm upset. I understand, but how will you finish your coding now? I don't know. As you can see it's broken. It's okay, we can use my computer. Have you ever considered practicing your superpower of pause? What's that? When you practice pausing, it means you can take 10 seconds to think more about the consequences of your actions and words. Hmm, I never even knew that I had that superpower. You're not alone. Many ninjas don't know that they own that superpower, but it's been there all along. Thanks for reminding me. I'll try it soon, I promise. The next day, I chose to practice my newfound superpower, and it really made a difference. At school, even though Jealous Ninja was making me mad with constant pencil tapping, I chose to pause and think about my choices instead of shoving or kicking the chair. I politely asked Jealous Ninja to stop. On the playground, I didn't demand to be the first to have the ball. Before reacting impulsively, I would consider the consequences of my actions so I could make a better decision. I really liked how people responded to me when I practiced my superpower of pause. But most of all, I liked how it made me feel 
great about my decisions. From then on, I was an impulsive ninja less often. Remembering to practice your superpower of pause could be your secret weapon in keeping impulsive behaviors at bay. Okay, students, so remember that when you are tempted to uh, react to something in a way that may not be the best choice of a reaction, use your superpower of pause to stop and think about what you're going to do and think about the consequences of that action. Potential consequences could be good or bad, but um, that's a great strategy to stop and think about what you're gonna do or say before you do it, okay? All right, students, I hope you enjoyed tonight's story and I can't wait to see you at school on Tuesday. All right, sweet dreams.